Welcome to the of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on Central Kansas. Alright, we got a couple things going on today. Every time. Makes me laugh. Well, that's good though. It's good. Puts a smile on my face. Makes me enjoy myself. Not that I'm not enjoying myself, because I always do. Uh, if I don't enjoy myself, I probably don't play. Anyways, we got a couple things going on today. First of all, not that tractor. This one. Uh, we currently got the coming... Uh, it is seeding of this field right here. Uh, he's about, I don't know, more than halfway done at this point in time. Uh, but it does take quite a bit of time off camera to do this. Actually, it hasn't taken too long, uh, admittedly. It's been pretty good. Uh, I planted barley on this particular field this time around because barley is so lucrative on this map. It's ridiculous. Um, well, in re comparison to what it's usually like, it's a lot, but... Uh, in this case, time around, it's not terrible, so. Alright. So I've currently got the Ford. He's just idling here. I guess I could turn him off. Don't know why I set him to idling. Um, but the other thing we got going on, is this guy empty? Yes, he is. Good. Uh, we got the combine. He's just chilling out over here, ready to do something. Um, obviously, this field has been harvested. And I collected all the straw already, although apparently I missed chunks of it, uh, which is unfortunate. But, oh well. That's the way things go. Uh, where I'm here. I also have the Kenworth. He's currently doing his thing. Let's go take a quick peek as to what the prices are. We got pigs, potatoes, and corn. Ooh, we can, well, can't do corn anymore. Uh, so we have a hundred thousand liters of wheat and a hundred thousand liters of canola. So we're gonna go ahead and sell some of that stuff. Where is the best price for canola? Let's see here. Canola, canola. Where are you? Canola refinery. Ah, yes. The only place I haven't recorded a course to. Well, I guess we can do that right now. I don't normally do this on camera. I don't know. I say that every single time, and I'm pretty sure I've... Every time I say it, I'm recording a course, so what the heck. Ah, well. <clears throat> All right, let's put this in a nice little position right there. Start recording the course. Might as well fill it up because there's no point of wasting it. Uh, as you can see, we have minus $924. The reason why we have minus... 924 is because we are seeding and we have to keep this guy topped up so he can do his job. I'm not worried about it at the moment. Uh, we do have 200,000 liters of various crops we can sell, so uh, like I said, not terribly worried about it. I see that at a good speed. I'm not too worried about it. Um, ooh, ooh, that's not good. I keep forgetting. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's. I think it's Auto Tractor doing it. Because uh, the, what they're saying is basically something like it's like looking for field range or something when it does that, and I think it's Auto Tractor that's messing up my system. Um, but I use it on the other, on the other, let's play. So it's like, uh, what do you do? Do you uh, do you take it out? Do you leave it in? What do you do? And I think it's also that in in what well, in, but it's also that. And I think it's the the IH uh, case IH cedar we have there. I think it's a little bit of both, to be honest. But I don't know which one is causing the most annoyance. It doesn't seem to be one or the other at this point in time. It's some, it's doing something, but I'm not sure what. All right. So if you're wondering where the canola refinery is, it's basically right down here by the freight yard. I'm sure someone will say, "Hey, Ian, there is a silo right at the freight yard." I know that. Um, I just don't want to uh, to use that silo because that means I have to drive the truck here and drive it all the way back. So essentially I have to drive here anyway so it doesn't make a difference is what it boils down to. So I might as well just drive here and then return him to my main farm so then I don't have to worry about going to pick him up. <laughs> That's the reason being um, in that regards. I don't know why the uh, creator of the map put that there. Um, it's a bit uh, it's a bit odd I suppose but not terribly odd, but I think it, the idea is to make it easier. I might actually take it out, because uh, I'm not going to use it, to be honest with you. Or I might move it to uh, somewhere else. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So this is the canola refinery place right down in here. Let's go ahead and unload this guy right here. And we're going to make some money from that. And I'm going to look at the comments from the last episode. So the last episode that has aired, it was Raise the Reel, part two. So I cut that into into two parts because it was a long recording session. I was enjoying myself, so 
I just cut them into two. Uh, Farming in the West says, I know in Idaho we grow corn, wheat, onions, potatoes, beets, and some hay crops. Thanks, Farming in the West. Jeffrey says, Idaho is famous for potatoes. Iowa's known for corn, soybeans, popcorn, oats, cattle, dairy, and cows, and watermelon. Oh, I didn't know about watermelon. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, Chris says, you underestimate the power of the 350. Uh, <laughs> it would do just fine pulling just about anything. He's probably right. I probably could pull just about everything, I would say. Um, I don't know. I just don't like using it for uh, for the uh, pigs, I guess is what I was, I was referring to in that particular episode. I think. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was, so... Let's take a quick peek at the what people said about part one, because we're still unloading here. Uh, part one, here's what a couple people said for part one. Uh, Crafts Farm says, I should have reset the course with the uh, coming. That's probably the reason why. Uh, actually, you, should, you know what you should do? You should check out Craft Farms. He just put a, an interesting uh, video up on his YouTube channel about um, grinding hay up for cattle. It's pretty cool, actually. So if you're interested in real farming, definitely check that out. Greg also says, I should have reset the course. GTM559 says, you might want to try this. This is the HW80 service trailer. I've actually had a look at that one. It's not too bad. Um, it's about what I have here. Funny enough, uh, let me just make a quick little comment about this um, before I forget about it. Yeah, he's doing that silly thing again. I don't know why. See? No problem. See, it's all nice and crisp and clean. But as soon as I attach it, seems to want to do silly things so I'm gonna reset the course what people suggested so here we go reset the course gonna reload it bada bing bada boom there we go hopefully that rectifies the problem I have no idea if it will or not I think it's actually auto tractor not playing nice with these um, that is honestly my guess what's happening because uh, I think what's ha uh, do I have yes I think because I hit control 5 um, to change groups Sometimes I think that might be what sets it off because I have a, a, a truck, the truck, uh, the F-350 in Group 5. That's just my guess as to the reason why it's doing that. Uh, but I honestly, I don't know, so. All right, drive nearest course, gonna do his thing. Is it gonna miss a little bit? Good, it's not, excellent. I'm just gonna get out of it and hopefully that will be okay. We'll see. All right, so let's continue on the course right here. So. Um, that's what GTM559 says. Tubby says, I pronounce, you pronounce the, uh, the, uh, Burgo as Burgo, but he pronounced, he spelt it out here, so it's B-O-U-R-G-O. -O. He's right, that's pretty much how you pronounce it. Um, it's French. If, if, if it is French, I should say, that's how you'd pronounce it. Because, I don't know why in French you, uh, pronounce B-O, or B-O, B-O-U-G. Um, or I was thinking of G-A-U-L-T, I think it is. I have a friend named, uh, his last name is Go. So you don't pronounce the T or anything like that. So anyways, thanks, Tubby. All right, what else do we got here? Uh, he, <laughs> same guy also suggests that I change the coming out for the JD 840, 8440. So this is the tractor he's talking about. Let me just show it to you in case you were wondering. So the 8440, so... This is the tractor we're currently using. It has 325 horsepower. And he's suggesting that I use, where is it here? All the way down here. This tractor right here, which has 215 horsepower. Um, it is a cool tractor, I can admit that, but a little bit too low in the horsepower range for that, uh, that setup, in my opinion, at least. Uh, that's the reason why I am not using it for that. Although I could use that as an overloader. Hmm, that could be interesting. Um, it's a, it's a kind of a random tractor to use as an overloader, but it could definitely work. Um, it's possible. All right, let's finish recording this course. Um, <laughs> that I kind of stopped, stopped in the middle of doing that and uh, commented on a few things. Uh, there was a bit of a, a conversation going back and forth in the comments about uh, the types of brands you would see in various countries and whatnot. Uh, Yanni, I think you might pronounce the name as. He says, not in his country. We have New Holland Dutes and Kloss uh, tractors. Uh, Edward Simpson says, 
I just avoid driving on roads, if at all possible. I've had some fun rides, though. So, I'm assuming he's talking about driving on the roads with um, the tractors and whatnot. I have no idea. Macho Mystery Man, I think is how you say it. He's happy. He says, New Holland for the win. So, I guess he's happy by the fact that I bought a New Holland last uh, in that episode as well. For whatever reason. All right, cool. I think he just found the channel. That's why he was commenting on the fact that I got a new haul and so. It's all good. I can live with that. All right, so we have finally recorded the course for this. Uh, that was me, let's say, sell canola at the refinery. Oops. I guess that's what it would be. Nearest point. Now ah, we'll just go tag along for the time being. Is he going to be all right there? Oh, he's going to stop. Good. That's why I was actually more concerned about if he was going to stop there or not. Uh, he has about two loads, I guess. Uh, two full loads of um, canola that he can take. And then we'll see where we're at from there. All right. So I have been alluding to the fact that I will... Where are I? Where is the Massey Ferguson? So I've been alluding to the fact that I will buy the GMC truck. Uh, today is that day. I'm going to go ahead and buy the GMC truck as I run about to fill up the, for example, these things right here. And uh, I think this is the old one. I can't remember. I did fill it up with straw, if I remember right. Did I fill it up with straw? Yeah, so it has hay straw. I just need some silage in there. And if you recall from the first episode, I said I would only make straw, or only make straw, only make silage using um, corn. So. I have lots of grass I could easily make silage out of, but I'm going to say I was going to make it only out of corn, so we're going to go ahead and plant corn in field 8. Alright, let's go ahead and buy the GMC right now. I'm going to save the game because I don't know how this is going to act, because uh, you never know. I tried it out uh, already off camera just to muck about with it, and um, it was fine, but you never know. Better safe than sorry. It's only 20 grand, so I'm not too worried about it. Boom. Let's go hop into that guy right now. Where is it here? So this is the GMC truck people have all been talking about. Um, that have asked me to get multiple times now. I don't know if there's a, there's no new version or anything like that, which is unfortunate. I'd like to see a newer version of this. Uh, so the outside doesn't look too bad. It's a bit uh, blocky, but that's what the actual truck looks like. Uh, the tires, in my opinion, could look a little better. They seem small in my opinion as well, but whatever. Uh, the cool thing about this is this is a truck you would definitely see in North America. You would definitely see one of these. Uh, my in-laws actually have one of this exact truck, basically. Well, I'm pretty sure it's one of these models. Um, so they're very common. All right, so the outside looks pretty good. Let's hop in the inside. Yeah, that's um, the reason why I'd like this to have an overall. Inside's a little bit um, on the need some, need some tender love and care some TLC bases, but outside it's pretty cool so I'm gonna probably play on the outside of this thing now this truck actually has a weird uh, gear system and that's pretty much the same sound as the uh, most of the trucks from uh, American Eagle modding uh, so this truck actually has a funny uh, gear system I actually took it out of the game which is why I can drive it normally uh, but the way it works is this truck when you get it uh, has a I think it's called the dy dynamic shift or something like that and basically what it boils down to in order to gear shift up you need to hit the left click button in order to gear shift down it'd be the right click of your mouse basically I took that out so I don't have to worry about that uh, basically if you want to take it out you go in the XML and you go to specializations and you take out dyna dyno shift, I think it's called. That's all you got to do. Uh, you take that out and then you don't have the shifting. If you take out the, um, what's it called? The L, U, I think it's the Lua file. You take that out as well and you'll be fine. So basically I filled this guy up with, whoa. I filled this guy up with, uh, not filled him up. I changed it so he could accept all the different fruit types I, uh, I might want. So for example, if I wanted something like, let's say, mixed rations, I accept, made it so he could accept that. I made it so he could accept anything I wanted to, basically. So, And I also took out the, uh, the other thing as well. So this is what it looks like when you fill it up with wheat. Might as well 
do something with it now that we have it. I believe it holds 20,000 liters. No, a bit more actually than 20,000 liters. It looks like 22, 24, something in that area. So it has a pretty nice uh, grain plane, as you can see. 25,000 liters, it's not too bad. That's respectable. That's a good size for this thing. Um, so it holds 25,000 liters. Where is the best place to uh, sell wheat? I don't even know. Uh, elevators. Looks like the elevators, actually. Now, one of the things that it won't work, this one of the things that it doesn't do um, is it doesn't work with course play very well. Let's say sell elevators right here. So, if I set it to driver helper, wrong tra wrong trailer for this mode. So that means that it's not going to work for uh, selling stuff automatically using course play. Unfortunate. However, you could set it into transfer mode, and it should just drive. Um, so if you want to drive have it drive somewhere it should do that yeah there it goes so it should do that but the problem is you're gonna have to babysit it um, and the other problem is this truck I didn't record the course in this with this truck so it's probably like trying to find a, a decent spot yeah it should be okay once it gets lined up properly there it goes uh, so the turning radius on this truck is obviously different than uh, the truck I recorded it with that's why it's having a hard time going in the right direction but what you can do is I can set this to maximum speed. It, this truck actually does can haul pretty fast, actually, um, which is nice about the truck. But um, yeah, so it doesn't work in driver helper mode, which is the mode you'd probably normally use it, um, which is unfortunate. But it's uh, they were actually in. The, if you look, if you look at the support, uh, the support thread for this particular uh, truck you will see people talking about getting to work with course play because this would be a pretty awesome truck to work with course play for stuff like silage for example uh, but unfortunately it does not work and the funny thing about this as well is this truck is actually it holds less than the west trailer I have so go figure but it does work uh, as you can see it works with course play right now I'm obviously I can't drive like this in, well I probably could actually um, but it does work with course play uh, but you can only it only works in the transfer mode so drive from start to finish it doesn't work in the driver helper mode which is the mode you would want it to work in or the combi mode for example it doesn't work in that mode either unfortunately so now the problem is if you have it in transfer mode oh it's no it doesn't stop um, at the cell point so you have to manually that's why I said you have to babysit it so it does work though as you saw. All right, so this is what the emptying, uh, pff, how do you call it, graphic looks like. Not too bad. Empties at a reasonable pace. There wasn't like great demand coming for wheat, was there? That would be annoying for us. No, potatoes, pigs, and corn. Okay, good. Whew. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty solid, actually. Uh, that's what it looks like underneath. Let's I don't know if I can manually do that again, but uh, it looks all right. Outside of the truck, pretty solid. I think it could use a bit, a bit better uh, textures on the outside, but all, all in all, because it's North American, that's one of the main reasons why I picked it up, because it is uh, is indeed a North American-styled truck. Uh, probably because it, became, it came from American Eagle Moddings. That's probably the reason why, but uh, just saying. I, I think the wheels probably could look a bit bigger. The seam, these wheels seem small for this size of truck. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Um, it's hard to judge. And apparently that's a ambulance or a police officer out there somewhere. Um, so like I said, it does work with the transfer mode, which I have it on right now. Um, but it does not work in the driver helper mode. And uh, let's just try. It doesn't work in this mode either. Yeah, it doesn't work in combi mode, which is the mode you would want it to work in. Work it, want, it, want it to work in. Oof, there we go. And that's basically because if you were to able to get it to work in that mode, you could just use you could use a forge harvester uh, and then use this guy as a uh, as a uh, offloader basically. All right, let's hop back in this guy. He doesn't have any more canola left. Let's might as well just send him. Ah, what the heck? Let's not do that. That's gonna be a waste of time. Two thousand liters is nothing. Uh, we do have fifty thousand dollars though, which is a plus. Um, the next field we could theoretically get uh, would be—I uh, don't know. Let me just check. 
What do we need? Sell wheat at the... Uh, not corn. Sell wheat at the elevator. There we go. So, of course, this truck selling wheat is going to be more efficient than the uh, GMC. Mainly because it works in driver helper mode. Uh, but also because it carries about double. Um, double the quantity, which is nice, so... But this truck, I did mod it so it would take straw, grass. Uh, the planes won't look proper. I, I should, probably should have done something about that, but it um, it will work with everything everything I needed to work with. So it'll probably just default to uh, either chaff or it'll default to... Uh, what would it be? Wheat, I guess it would be. Now, the one thing I don't like about this... Do I have a trailer over here? Where is the trailer? Uh, I don't believe this has a rear hitch on it either, um, which is unfortunate. And you, I could mod one into it. I think I'm going to, or at least try to, because I don't know. How, I don't know how to do that. Otherwise, I probably would do it. Um, so, yeah. This is turning a bit. I just realized this is kind of turning into a bit of a mod spotlight um, or a mod mashup, as I call it. Um, not intentionally, of course, but people asked about this truck. A lot of people who, uh, a lot of people wanted me to get this truck specifically because it was a North American truck. Um, I suppose that's part of the reason why. Um, and uh, it makes sense. All right, now I should probably put this guy into a group. What group should I put him into? Let's just say group nine. Sure, why not? I'm gonna try and pick up this trailer right here just to see, and uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think it'll work, but if it does, that's awesome. I saw people talking about modding in a, a hitch, so I'm assuming it doesn't work, but no. Maybe it'll work in the middle of the truck? No. So yeah, I'll probably have to figure something out about that, because this truck actually probably would have a hitch on the back of it. Maybe not this model, though, because it's got the tipper. I don't know. Does it have wither wheels? I don't think it does. No. If it did, I probably took them out. <laughs> not going to lie to you. All right, so we actually don't need to put anything in this. Actually, we need silage. Silage is what we need, basically. I'm just gonna, just gonna put this truck over here for the time being. I'm gonna drive it around here and park it up in here. Uh, so, like I said, I took, out, I took out the dyno shift thing, which is what you had to do to shift up, shift, shift down. Um, I took that out. So that's the reason why I just drive it as a normal vehicle. Uh, I'm not going to upload that. That's a personal change I made. Um, talk to the guy who actually made the mod. Um, because it's not nice to upload the mod when you modify it. Um, they don't like that so much. All right, how is our coming doing? See, he ran out of seat apparently. All right. Turn off the sprayer. So this is what happens if you use course play to do. Um, if you use course play to seed, that's the problem. Unfortunately, uh, you can. I'll continue fertilizing, I guess. But uh, what I, hmm, I suppose, what I could do, it's only a little tiny strip. What I actually will, I'll do is I will uh, unhitch the uh, the sprayer just because I don't actually need it. There's a little tiny strip. I'm not that worried about that little tiny strip. So what I'll do is I'll leave that there and I'll go fill up. There's the uh, I'll go put this guy into position. The only problem with um oh what the heck? I'll just leave it on. I just won't fill it up because I know it's gonna act differently if I have it attached versus not attached. Talk about an indecisive. Jeez. And it's also a pain to try and reattach it, apparently. Especially when you have terrible skills. Okay, maybe they're not that bad, but... So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fill up the anhydrous tank there because um, I don't want to waste money pre-fertilizing stuff I've just fertilized, basically. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to stick this guy up here. Might as well reset the course while I'm at it, just in case. You never know. And I'm going to drive him up to the spot where he left off, which is right up here, if you can see. And then I'll set him on his way. So, A lot of farmers getting prepared for uh, planting season. It's crazy. Uh, some farmers are jumping the gun a little bit and planting maybe a little too early. But I've been talking to a couple guys online. They're like, yep, 
I'm getting ready for planting season. So a lot of guys, what they're doing is, um, I'm gonna change this guy to a, this group to a different one, just uh, just to see if that may be the problem or not. Uh, a lot of guys getting ready for planting season. So what they're doing is um, preparing the equipment, making sure everything works fine, and then going from there. I showed my uh, father-in-law this trailer. He's like, yeah, it's a pretty cool little trailer. The only problem is you have fuel and fertilizer on the same trailer. And I was like, that's a good point. I never even thought about that. Uh, because if you were to do this in real life, um, if you have, you know, let's say fuel and fertilizer close together like that, like it is here in this circumstance, uh, that could theoretically cause a fire at some point. If you get the right, you know, combination it could be a bad thing that's what it boils down to did that fill up already I guess so I guess that thing has a small seed tank never realized this and let's hop back into the truck because this thing's gonna be in the way I think all right I guess I did not oh it is doing it it's just taking its time there we go there you go. I was going to say, I'm like, you shouldn't have troubles getting up the hill. Jeez. So, actually, this is a situation where this tractor may not be powerful enough going up a hill like this. Pulling something like this with this size of load. It's possible. I don't know. Some people have said, yes, this tractor would be perfectly fine pulling this rig. Other people have said, uh, depending on the scenario, maybe you'd want a bigger, uh, more powerful tractor. And I'm, I agree in both scenarios. Maybe a bigger tractor going up a hill like this would be more appropriate, whereas, you know, going down the hill or on flat terrain is not going to be a problem at all. This guy should turn. Good. He's not going to act silly. Oh. There you go. Um, <clears throat> he should be fine for now. He's just going to drive this guy back to the farm, preferably not all over the crop. Anyways, yeah, so he was saying that you have a fuel tanker right here with a fertilizer. It's probably not a good idea uh, in real life. And apparently in Canada, you can't have, uh, he was saying you can't have a, tr a fuel tanker like this um, on a trailer. Uh, well, I showed him a picture of one specifically and he said you couldn't. So probably it was very similar to this one. He said most likely you can't have that in a trailer uh, just due to the laws and whatnot in Canada versus United States. So I thought that was pretty cool too. All right. It's funny. I, I realize that I have a fuel tank in this trailer, but I also have a fuel tank in this truck, so it's a bit redundant. But whatever. I can't do much about that. This little service trailer is pretty chill. Uh, somebody linked a, a different service trailer to me. It was a... Uh, what was it? It was a... Um, HW, I think it was called. HW80 something uh, and that was a, a pretty decent service trailer uh, at least a, if it appeared to be let's say that excellent nice so I'm just going to leave this guy here with this and this guy should be close to being finished yes he is close to being finished one more pass apparently one more pass all right, so now that we have the GMC truck, uh, what we're going to do with it is we're going to use it as a, a runabout. Um, let me just get out of here. Uh, we're going to use it as a runabout around the farm. Obviously, that's what a runabout is, Ian. Um, where is I? Six. Drive now. So we have already sold all of our crops. This is the funny part behind this. Um, so... <clears throat> What we're going to use as a rub out, uh, basically, oh, this guy does the same thing. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> maybe if I did it myself, it uh, might work a bit better. Uh, so, we're going to use it as a runabout, basically. And uh, because it's, we're going to use it as a runabout, probably just going to leave it around the farm. Uh, we may do some things with it. Like, if, for example, uh, well, I know I will have to make some silage in the next episode, most likely. So, because of that, I will probably. Um, because I'm going to need silage in the next episode, I'm probably going to use the GMC truck along with uh, probably the Massey Ferguson to do silage. Um, and I'll probably have the Massey Ferguson set up to do course play, and then I'll do the GMC 
manually. Uh, and I think the GMC is going to be tall enough, or too tall maybe, I'm not sure. That's something we should probably check out quickly. Uh, is he going to, he'll be fine. Nope, apparently not. He didn't like that so much. Okay, whatever, fine. I'll just do it myself, which was the original intention anyways. All right, so where's my GMC truck? What did I put it as, nine? All right, so let's take a quick peek. Um, actually, that's probably the same height as the, the Pottinger. I actually think it's even taller than the... I th so if that's the case, this guy should be fine. Should have no problems, but let's just go ahead and drive him over anyways. Because we have this truck now. Ugh. It's so ugly on the inside. This really needs an overhaul on the inside. Oops, I meant to go in the yard. Oh well. C'est la vie. Um, yeah. Someone suggested I should get rid of the... Uh, I forget what it was. Someone suggested I get rid of something. And uh, I forget that something was. But the funny thing was, it, would, it didn't make any sense to me. Because I was like, you should get rid of... Um, I forget what I think it was someone said get rid of the semi trailer and use the uh, and use the GMC instead. Um, I forget who said it. I think it was a while ago now, but it's not happening. I'm a I love using semi trucks. I don't know why. Um, oh yeah, this is gonna be fine. I don't know why I was worried about it. Let's unfold the harvester and let's put the pipe out. <clears throat> oh yeah, no problem whatsoever. Oh, that's interesting though. Is it going to recognize the trailer as a... Hmm... I don't know if it recognizes it. It may not recognize the uh, the trailer as in a... Maybe because I don't have anything to put it... I don't know. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. It may not actually recognize this truck as a place to put uh, the pipe. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just say that. And because of that, I'll have to keep the... I'll have to keep that in mind actually. And if that's the case, then uh, that's going to be even bigger pain. It's possible. So that's so that's one of the problems you run into sometimes with custom mod, with mods and whatnot. So that's just the way it goes. So what I probably will do is uh, I want to add a hitch to that truck, but I have no idea how to do it. So I may have to go uh, looking around to do that. Uh, should I make this whole field in silage? That's a lot of silage. Not that I'm not going to use it. I just probably never need to use silage the rest of the series. Um, yeah, sure, let's do the whole field. Why not? I mean, I really did need to have this other combine right here. I guess I did anyways, because I had to harvest the field. Yeah, whatever. All right, he's on his last pass, thankfully. And then what we can do is... Uh, well, actually, what I'll do is I'll do this. I'll drive this back over there a field... Uh, off camera because it's a long drive for that rig and then I'll come back next episode and uh, what I'll do is actually I'll I'm just gonna go ahead and just plant the other field uh, off camera because you have obviously seen it on this enormous field I'm gonna plant field 8 off camera uh, it's just a small field anyways I'm gonna plant that in corn and then what I'll do is I'll accelerate time and I will um, hmm, how am I gonna do this? yeah I'll accelerate time and then I'll have these two fields ready to go, basically. And uh, we'll do a little bit of silage and we'll do a little bit of harvest at the same time. So that is the plan for next episode. And if you notice, we have $74,000. Let's take a quick peek as to what we can buy. Do we need another tractor? Let me just ask that. Do we need another? This is the other option, I suppose, the dump truck, which would be is very similar to the, uh, to the GMC, I suppose. Same idea, basically. I think it holds chaff and something else. And I don't know if it actually works with course play, uh, to be honest. It might, actually. Hmm, I wonder if it does. <clears throat> Alright, $74,000. Uh, could get to... Not happening, no. Not powerful enough. Because this time we're kind of looking for a more powerful track. I could go for this. Uh... See, here's the the problem. So if I let's say I get this Case IH Precision hoe, the problem with getting that is that I can only use that John Deere tractor. Um, 
because Duke made both of those, and he weighted the precision air hoe uh, for his tractors. Uh, that is just a cultivator. Maybe I'll get the, that's 20 meters cultivator. Hmm. Because that's just a cultivator. So what you can do is you can get these two. Oh, we already have one of these. But what you can do is you can set it up so uh, it fertilizes um, and cultivates at the same time. And then you have a cedar doing something separate. But I don't. But the cedar we have also uh, cultivates. So uh, I just don't like this cedar. I'll see if I can find another one. This one. It works, I'll tell you that much, but it looks a little bit funny sometimes, and I actually don't have the appropriate uh, fertilizer spreader for it, strangely enough. Um, I'll see what else, I, I, I may be able to find something else that works nicely. If not, well, then I can always use the uh, Duke's uh, one. And we wanna try and get one of these eventually too, remember, uh, the anhydrous bulk trailer, because uh, we never got one of those before. And I know, actually, now I think oh, this is a random moment. I know that this, um, this is the Precision Air Cart. It goes with the Duke's truck, uh, truck, Duke's Precision Air Hoe. But the, uh, I should say, the fertilizer spreader that comes with this, um, it would actually work with Duke's truck. <laughs> Why do I keep saying Duke's truck? It will actually work with Duke's uh, Precision Air Hoe. And I think... What I may do is, was it this, I forget, someone suggested this. I can't remember if it was in for this series or the other series. I can't remember. What I might do is because we have these pig facilities, I may get into this again, I'm not sure, uh, with the coat manure pack, with the Garant and this, and then not this, but uh, the other one I have, I guess. That's an also a possibility. And what we can do, ah, we do actually know, yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about that. What we can do actually is, uh, we can get into bailing actually. Maybe next episode, maybe. Um, but we need more than, because the bailer we're looking for is 90 grand. And, yeah. Is it worth keeping this? Probably, yeah. Whatever. Anyways, I'm rambling. All right, I'm going to end that episode there. Sorry about that, guys. This is me thinking out loud. Uh, I'm going to end the episode there. Where's this guy going? He's doing the headland, I guess. There's nothing to be planted. Uh, so I'm going to end the episode there for now, folks. My name is Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2013, and we're playing on Central Kansas. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.